What's up, Simonics, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we're not doing a tutorial, but we're talking about the super interesting topic, and that is Superbase. Superbase is uh, the open source Firebase alternative, at least that is what they say, and I gave it a try for this week's tutorial. You can check it out on my YouTube channel last video. I read about Superbase a few weeks ago. I followed the development, and it looked quite cool from the outside, so I thought because a lot of you are interested in Firebase anyway, we should have a discussion about Superbase versus Firebase. Today we will talk about the similarities, uh, we'll talk about the differences and in the end come to a conclusion uh, if you should use Superbase or Firebase. Be aware that Superbase is still in the beta stage so there's a lot they are working on but they lately got I think 6 million funding um, so there's definitely something uh, big coming up. They are of course not yet uh, where Firebase is in terms of all the functionalities, but what I've seen in the last tutorial was pretty much uh, a really great platform and that's also what I want to show you today and how the internals of Superbase actually look like and how they are compared to Firebase. <laughs> To compare both tools, let's start with a comparison side by side and let's start with the similarities. So we got Firebase on the right hand side and we got Superbase on the left hand side. Um, both are basically a cloud backend uh, in case you don't want to spin up your own server, connect a database, integrate authentication and all that kind of things. Both can do this uh, just fine and both have a database out of the box. We will talk about differences in terms of the databases later. Um, let's just dive into the uh, respective projects or the UI within Firebase on the right side and Superbase on the rest, uh, left side. Uh, let's just take one of my examples. Um, what we got in common is as well authentication. Uh, we can do this with both. Here, Superbase, um, we can even, as far as I know, integrate uh, social providers right here, just like we can do with uh, Firebase. Um, you get all this basic stuff right out of the box. I don't know if they have like 100% the same functionalities here in terms of authentication. You might have to check this out. Uh, but overall, they have authentication out of the box. Um, in terms of the database, you can with both get database changes in real time. So that was a huge selling point uh, for Firebase in the beginning. Uh, actually, I think they just started with a real time database before Google acquired them and they got all this other stuff. Um, it's a bit easier with Firebase uh, from code. Um, but for one code example, I also uh, did the same things with uh, Superbase. So you can subscribe basically to the changes of the database. They got different services running in the background. So you get notified about changes and then you can perform your updates. So both offer this kind of real time aspect of uh, getting data. Um, both also offer backend security. Um, with Firebase, you can configure this for uh, Cloud Firestore, also for storage, uh, by writing those funny little Firebase rules. Um, for our Superbase database, you can also define different roles. Uh, no, we can, uh, it wasn't the roles, uh, it was somewhere else. I'm still a bit confused by the UI and don't find everything immediately. Uh, I usually get lost at some point and then I'm somewhere completely else. But let's take a quick look at their examples of a to-do list, uh, which also shows how to use row level security for your database. They still don't have this kind of database for the WebSocket implementation, which gives you the real-time updates as far as I know, or at the time recording this, um, but they do offer this kind of security for your database as well. Um, both Firebase and uh, Superbase offer a client uh, SDK. Of, so if you're using Angular, React, Vue, any kind of JavaScript framework, both have a nice package that you can easily install. In terms of other functionalities that will be similar, um, because thanks, we don't want this now. Um, there is, for example, uh, Firebase storage to easily upload your files. That is coming to Superbase. It is planned for the future. So at one point, this will also be kind of similar. 
Uh, on top of that, Firebase, very uh, popular are the cloud functions uh, to uh, react to database changes or any kind of stuff. Basically also write your cloud API uh, with those functions. Functions are coming to Superbase as well. They are planned, they don't exist right now. So this is these are just the things uh, and you might ask, well, where is it in Superbase? I just want to tell you they are coming uh, from what I read. Also, the local emulator that I showed you in one video for Firebase, uh, which allows you to test the database authentication and some cool things locally will come for Superbase as well. And as well, Superbase will have a CLI just like you have for Firebase where you can uh, log into Firebase and um, init the functions or deploy your code directly to hosting. That is uh, basically everything for the similarities. Now, they look pretty common on the outside. You got the database, you got the authentication, you got a lot of features upcoming that will be similar from the outside. The difference is really in, in the details. If we take a look at this overview from Superbase, uh, we can see how it is actually structured in the backend. And that is also uh, the first difference. Superbase is really open source. Um, they use different existing solutions uh, for connecting to a database, uh, for managing the database, for getting real-time data. Um, there are packages and they said if there is not a common package, they will create a package and open sources. On the other hand, we got Firebase. Well. I haven't seen a code like this from Firebase. Uh, I'm sure at some point maybe there's an architecture about the internals, but usually uh, I haven't seen the internal code. So there's the first difference. Now, the main uh, reason for selecting either of them is most of the time having a database. And that is different because Firebase has a no SQL database. Um, that means you get the benefits of NoSQL, you work with collections, documents, you're kind of free to use fields and query a lot of data easily. <clears throat> On the other hand, I heard from a lot of people that they actually prefer SQL databases and Superbase uses Postgres, uh, as we've seen already here in this chart, Postgres, PostgreSQL, actually I spelled it always wrong. Um, so we got a SQL database running in the background of your Superbase application which gives you uh, some other benefits. Um, we will talk about which is better in the end, but just for noticing it, SQL Superbase, no SQL Firebase. Um, right now, you can start both for free. Um, for Firebase, um, uh, how to start? Well, if you want to use cloud functions uh, to make uh, any external HTTP call or perhaps even in general by now, you need to enable uh, the Blaze plan, so pay as you go. Um, for Superbase, as far as I've read, the plan so far is that you can uh, pay for hosting it, so it's quite easy to set up then. Um, and you can also host it basically for free on your own servers, which comes with a bit of work on your side because you got to configure everything, uh, all the backend stuff. But you might be able to host this for free. Uh, Firebase, you can't host it for free, you can only use this. And if you have an application that might go viral in the future and you've not optimized your calls to the database, I've read enough articles at this point where people's bill for just like a day completely exploded because they had too many requests on a collection and uh, everything really snowballed from there. I feel like uh, with Superbase, you might have less hidden costs. You might pay for uh, a certain kind of hosting package to get this service, um, but I feel like it might be uh, more upfront and more clear to you in the end. What we also got with Superbase is actually, as we can see from this package, a REST API. Uh, it was kind of tricky to find out how it worked, um, but well, I did it. Um, I can show you if you want to in another video how to use each of those endpoints. Um, if you take a look at the created application, there's also, uh, I won't find it right now, but you can uh, add whatever to the URL, and then it will show you the Swagger documentation for your API. Um, you can also transport the Swagger or convert it to TypeScript objects, so that's pretty cool. Um, but overall, it means you could even use it just like a standard REST API to access the database. On the other hand, Firebase um, 
Not that I know of. Uh, we can use the functions, yeah, sure, and create our own REST API, but it's not like we have a REST API for the database or authentication out of the box. Um, so we covered uh, the differences in terms of Swagger uh, here as well. Um, data import. Are, as far as I know, for Firebase Cloud Forest Store, it never worked so far. It did for the real-time database to some degree, um, but didn't work for Cloud Firestore so far. Uh, in terms of the export, um, I don't think that you can actually export this and uh, import it to any other uh, NoSQL database. From what I know, this is not going to work. On the other hand, uh, we got SQL here with Superbase, so it's pretty easy from what I've seen to import data to your database. Um, in terms of the export, I think they are not yet that far, but since this is really relational SQL data, I feel like they will add it in the end. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard for them to add, so I guess we will see a bit more on data import SQL export here uh, for Firebase. Uh, I just recently used a script to upload some dummy data, but that's really the only option you get for filling your database with some seed data. Uh, we talked about open source versus magic. Uh, we talked about the security rules. Now, we've covered basically everything here in Superbase. We talked about SQL authentication, um, of course, the UI is different. Perhaps you like the UI more of writing your SQL in here, uh, accessing the API and uh, using the role level security. What Superbase isn't offering is uh, a bunch of these things. So if your uh, application relies heavily on these things, um, the analytics part, uh, the in-app messaging, dynamic links, remote config. Um, I know many people are just using Firebase for Firestore authentication, perhaps storage, perhaps hosting, perhaps functions, but then it's basically end. And I think this is for 90% of the developers the case. But if you're among those 10 other percent or 5% that use the analytics, um, all the cool functionalities to grow your platform, uh, everything else that's included, I think uh, testing is also possible with Firebase, then this is not yet included with Superbase yet. I don't know if they have any plans for this, but I think for now they will focus on the core functionality. So that's basically uh, a deep dive into the similarities and the differences, but who's now the winner? All right, and that's it for today. No, we forgot something to talk about which of those services is actually better because you will anyway ask Simon, which should I use? And as always, my answer is it depends. To some degree, it's like asking, should I use Angular or React or Vue? All could do the job great. It really depends on your project. And that is the same for Firebase or the Superbase. Do you have like static fixed set of data um, that would be perfect for SQL? Then give Superbase a try. If you have an agile project, a lot of changing requirements, there will be changes to your data structure in the end. Perhaps no SQL might be a better solution. In terms of authentication, they are basically the same. In terms of security, you can pretty much do uh, the same with both platforms. But I think one big deciding factor will in the end be the cost of a project. And with Firebase, I've by now seen a lot of articles where the bill for people really exploded because they had too many list calls or uh, were querying data. And at some point they got a lot of users and got a huge bill that they didn't expect. I feel like with Superbase, if you pay for the hosting or if you even um, use it on your own server and connect everything, then it's even free. Otherwise, with hosting, you might have a fixed uh, set of uh, cost each month uh, that might scale with your project. And that could be a bit more predictable than using Firebase, where you might have a bit of unsecurity of suddenly getting a 5K bill at uh, any point. Besides that, as I said before, Firebase, not really open source, Superbase, everything open source, uh, using packages under the hood that you can look up, that you can use on their own, that are maintained by their own community, which is really a very cool approach and kind of the same like we see with Ionic. Of course, as I said in the beginning, Superbase is at beta. 
there are a lot of things not yet working 100%. There are a lot of things missing like uh, storage, perhaps hosting in the end, um, the cloud functions, the local emulator, the CLI. But those are things that are kind of nice to have. Storage perhaps would be really required, but I think we might see this uh, once they're out of beta anyway, because with 6 million funding, think about what you could do with 6 million. I would just I think we can expect a lot from Superbase in the future and I just recommend to give it a try. Getting started is really just as easy as it is with Firebase, integrating your project, setting it up. They have some cool SQL snippets to uh, get started quickly. They have no Angular examples because my Ionic application felt like it was the first example using Angular besides Vue and React and vanilla JavaScript, I think. But still, it wasn't hard to get started thanks to their JavaScript SDK. If you got any more questions about Firebase or the Superbase, leave them below. Give the video a like on this or that side, I don't care and subscribe to the channel so you get notified about all the upcoming videos that we still got. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more about Superbase, also let me know in the comments. And now go out, go to Superbase, integrate it in a test project and try it out and let me know what you think. I've been Simon. This has been a quick review of Superbase versus Firebase and I will catch you next week like always. So happy coding again, Simon. <laughs>